Hello everybody, it's Mr. 4246-2 here with a very, very cool video um, that is not only YouTube's first video of this particular fire panel, but it's also the first video ever documented of this fire alarm panel. This right here is a very unique firelight panel and is one of two to be known in the hobby. It is a firelight number RI-204 panel and it's a very small and very very low voltage panel. This is a 6 to 9 volt panel. DC, yes, you heard me right. 6 to 9 volt DC. It's all it takes. Um, right here you got your manual push test here. So if you want to test it um, without activating a station, you can just come to the panel and manually test it. We'll demonstrate that in a little bit. Um, for the fire alarm device, we have a simplex 2904 light. Um, has a 6 volt DC bulb in it instead of a normal 24 DC or whatever it originally had. Um, and we have this ADT pull station. I forgot the model of it. I'll put it on the video. Um, but um, we open the panel here. There's the inside. That's all there is in the inside is that. Now, this is a very, as, as I said, is a very small panel. Um, this panel wasn't used in the industrial, in like an industrial building. Like, you wouldn't see this in a school or an office building or anything. You, this panel was specifically made for residential buildings, like very small apartment buildings, um, maybe a small nursing home, or even a really small house that had a house system. Um, basically, it's like a security panel, but fire alarm for a house. I don't know. Um, but you can see this all these terminals here are the alarm terminals and these terminals here on the bottom are the pole station terminals and then you got your four relays on top. Um, this can this could have four poles and four horns hooked up on this but how it was hooked up in the building actually had five poles and four horns it's because they wired two poles to one um, terminal to add one so there's actually five poles and four horns but it's made for four poles and four horns um, but we only have one pole and one um, fire alarm device on this panel the battery's pretty dead so the 2004 is not going to illuminate that much um, but you can uh, turn off the light here and turn off the flashlight here on the phone so we can uh, see the 2004 illuminate. So, there's a fire, you go to the pole station and pull it of course, and there you go. See 2004 is activated. Um, like I said, this was not what would be used on this panel. What was, um, what was used on this panel was actually firelight firelights. Um, because they did make them in 6 volt DC variants. And this panel was made when the firelight firelights were made. Um, and so yeah, this is a very, very unique panel. Just shows you how rare this panel is if it was used with firelight firelights. Um, but as you see, I just pulled it. All you see is the terminal for illuminate and the pull station pulled. I'll do it one more time. There you go. I'm going to see if I can uh, get you a zoomed in shot of the relays in action. Okay, so I got you guys um, to where you can see the relays. And I'm going to activate the pull station so you can see the relays activate. Here we go. I don't know which one activates, but... Okay. It was that one that activated. See it close. Open. Close. Open. Close. 
Here, I'll zoom into it so you can see it if you watch carefully. Here you go. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, so this is a very unique panel. Um, I bought it off eBay for very cheap, if I had mentioned that already. Um, so as you see, I showed you guys the relays, the relay working. I showed you the entire thing working. The only thing I haven't shown you yet is the test button in front. I'm going to show you that works. I don't know how much the 2004 battery is at, but let's see if I press it. It'll activate. I don't know how good you can see that on camera. Yeah, that battery is about done for. Um, so I don't have a 6 volt DC transformer or anything, so I had to use a battery. But um, yeah, see, everything works. Um, see, once you press the test button, it'll test it. It's just killing it even more. Um, yeah. There you have it. Um, very first video of one of these ever. And um, I'm happy that I was able to get my hands on it and, um, you know, demonstrate to y'all. Um, once I get more 6-volt DC devices, because the only, the only 6-volt DC alarm I have is this a Demco security bell. Um, I was going to put that on here to demonstrate, but I was thinking it's way too loud. I've been blasting alarms all day, as you've been seeing all the recent videos I've been uploading. So I was just like, you know, I was just going to put a light on here just to be quiet and whatnot. Um, which, you saw it was killing. The battery was dying, so it wasn't really illuminating. But, um, at least you see it illuminate a little bit. Um, if anything, in the near future... I can make another video on this, um, and, uh, yeah, but I hope you guys enjoy this video of a very unique fire alarm panel, um, like I said, it's YouTube's first, and it's actually, and it's also the first video of this particular panel ever, and, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll see y'all in the next one, see ya.